Mohan Kumar for Trade Economics. <laughs> Ambassador Mohan Kumar has had an illustrious career in Indian Foreign Service lasting 36 years. The strategic relations and trade partnership between India and France grew remarkably under his watch during his tenure as the Indian Ambassador to France. He was also actively involved in the Climate Change Accord of Paris in 2015 and has enormous expertise in the area of international trade and multilateral negotiations. Congratulations. Congratulations. And uh, Mohanji, of course, represents two of the institutions that we work with very closely. OP General University as well as RIS and he's done a very good service and he supported us in backing out of ourselves. <laughs> Thank you very much Bibekta, whom I hugely respect. It's good to have you, sir. Samirji, thank you very much for this honor. Look, um, I will not conceal from all of you that I am an outlier. I'm not a pure economist and uh, uh, by the way, I'm, uh, it's, it's interesting. Radhika ji, who was one of the previous awardees, mentioned uh, Isha Raulwalia. I also want to do that. I met her in Paris and it was she who told me, why don't you do a PhD? Your views on WTO are so clear. Mr. Montek Alwalia has left, but I must place on record, it's thanks to Isha that I went to Sciences Po in Paris and I said I would like to do my PhD there even when I was ambassador there. And uh, Sciences Po took three months to decide whether my thesis fitted into their Department of Economics or Department of Political Science. And finally, I think they said it's easier that you do it in Political Science. But really, my claim to fame, and I'm so honored by this award, my only claim to fame is that in the Indian Foreign Service, it's unusual to specialize in trade and economics. It would have been far easier for me, thank you, it would have been far easier for me to do something sexy like Pakistan, sexy like Russia, China. We have experts on those. So when I specialized in international trade and you have to walk into the foreign secretary's room and, and ask for a posting, I remember doing it to one of the foreign secretaries and she, and she said, frankly, I don't know what the hell to do with you. You specialized in GATT, WTO. I can't send you to Geneva. That's an IAS job. I can't send you to Ministry of Commerce. You will be humiliated by the IAS guys. What do I do with you? So she very much wanted to kind of, you know, tell me that, listen, how do you solve a problem like Mohan? So finally, I said, you this one thing you can do, repeatedly send me to Geneva. So fortunately, she agreed with that. I spent 10 glorious years in Geneva negotiating first with the GATT and then the WTO. And that meant, of course, compared to my batchmates, I became an ambassador almost five years later. But I think it was well worth it. And therefore, I, I really take this award very, very seriously. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so much. And, and to reveal a secret, he is the only one I know of who wrote the thesis by hand. Not only did he write it by hand, he wrote it with a fountain pen. Wow. I, I hope the manuscript is safe somewhere. It is still safe and uh, because I'm an old-fashioned bureaucrat, I'm 65 by the way, I color my hair so don't get taken in. But you know, we, when we joined the Foreign Service, we were taught dictation skills. You have to dictate something to the PA. By the time I got on to doing my PhD, my PS was busy with other things, private secretary. But I had two of them, one of whom was actually playing cards all the time in Paris. I said, I'll write the thesis. All you have to do is type it out. Just don't make any mistakes. Because frankly, the, the quality of private secretaries that we had 25 years ago, we don't have them now. Now, if you dictate, you'll have to dictate it 10 times. You know, it'll come back with all sorts of errors and so on. So I actually wrote it out. Uh, thank you very much, Vivekda, for remembering it. I, use, I'm, I share one thing with this great man, which is that we share a, a real fondness for pens. So I actually wrote it on Swiss stationery with a Mont Blanc pen. 500 pages. So thank you. <laughs>